Hi, I'm Paul Fenn. I'm president of Genoa America, and I find myself at a boat show once again, this time at the Miami Show, and I'm aboard of Sun Odyssey 509, and I have with me my associate, Eric Stromberg, who's the product development manager, and he's going to take you through these boats right now. This is a fantastic boat that was designed by Philippe Briand, and it was designed with two key uh, elements in mind. One is a very easy, luxurious living on two levels, and to also have a boat that is very easy to handle with an excellent performance. In the cockpit, one of the key features is a, a fold-down transom door, which really expands the cockpit living area, and we have a single-level cockpit all the way from the stern of the boat to the companionway, which means when you move around on deck, it's very, very easy. The twin helm design has been pushed as far aft and as far out as, as possible in order to give you uh, excellent control and sight lines to the sails. At each helm station you'll find centralized electronics, each with a GPS screen, touch screen, that allows you to uh, control all of the, the, the functions of the boat. And we also have the electric winches here with the electric winch controls. And your main sheet and jib sheet are led right back to uh, the winches right at the helm. The interior is designed around four distinct zones. Tea galley, which allows two people to work in the galley without disturbing the rest of the crew. A lounge area with two seats, an integrated bar, a very large uh, salon table seating for eight people, and a, a nav station, which has all of the facilities to integrate television and uh, navigation equipment. The Sun Odyssey 509 is a true owner's boat with a very luxurious forward owner's cabin, which has a queen-size berth, lots of uh, storage, a private head with separate shower, a desk a vanity area, and lots of uh, light and ventilation. I'm with my friend Bobby Allen here aboard the Sun Odyssey 509. And uh, the 509 is a great ocean-going boat, but uh, Bobby had a chance to uh, sail it firsthand. Bobby, tell me a little bit about the 509 and your experiences getting it from here to wherever you went. Well, we started in Annapolis, uh, sailed down the bay to Norfolk. Uh, the weather router held us up there for 20 hours waiting for another front to go through. And then we made one shot from uh, uh, Norfolk, Virginia to uh, Tortola BVI. And is, uh, would you say that the 509 is uh, a boat that you felt secure aboard and that uh, you enjoyed sailing? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This, uh, I love this new uh, design they've come up, up with. this. Uh, this uh, chine, the boat seems to rock up and get to that chine and, and then it sort of stops. The uh, boat goes extremely fast and seemed to be a very stiff sailing boat. It's not simply a boat that uh, you can enjoy you know, while at the dock or at, at anchor. That uh, uh, One of the real attributes of the Genoa product and not just the 509 is that these boats sail. Oh, they really yeah. sail well. Yeah, and it's, and it's, it's not just a one-dimensional boat. If you want to go day sailing in a 509, Untie the boat and go day sailing. It's such a, a well laid out, very well thought out uh, engineering wise where everything arrives back in the helm. Or if you want to go to Europe, untie your boat and go to Europe. It's, it's certainly built uh, to a standard that there's, there's nothing I've seen out there that the, that the boat wouldn't, wouldn't just uh, eat alive. It was a, a great experience on the boat. Okay, so next time we just have to have a deal, and that is that I get to go along with you. You got a deal there, pal. Okay, anytime, anytime. <laughs> More information you can find on the web at www.chino.com.